a fatal disease of rabbits and hares, with mortality rates as high as 50 to 90 percent in domestic rabbits, has been identified in a wild cottontail in Larimer County, Colorado, bordering Wyoming, and also in Utah. Rabbit hemorrhagic disease, virus 2, or RHDV2, has not been found in Wyoming yet, but the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and Wyoming State Veterinarian's Office wants to alert the public that this northward expansion poses a threat to both wild and domestic rabbits in Wyoming. RHDV2 does not pose a threat to humans. The mortality rate in wild rabbits has not been determined, but early reports suggest 35 to 50 percent succumb to the disease. The distribution of RHDV2 now encompasses almost all of Arizona and two-thirds of New Mexico, with cases also reported in Texas, southern Nevada, Utah, and California. Nine counties in Colorado have confirmed cases, and six of those counties report mortalities in wild rabbits. While RHDV2 has been reported in domestic rabbits from four other counties. While RHDV2 may reach Wyoming at some point in the future, any die offs occurring now are more likely due to tularemia, which is contracted by contact with a positive rabbit, beaver, or muskrat, or from being bitten by an infected deer fly, tick, or flea. Domestic rabbit owners are advised to disinfect water and feed pans, keep wild rabbits from commingling with domestic or pet rabbits, quarantine any new rabbits, and wash hands before and after working with rabbits, and not share equipment with other rabbit owners. Rabbit owners with questions about this disease should contact their veterinarian or the Wyoming State Veterinarian's office. If you become aware of sick or dead wild rabbits, contact the Game and Fish Wildlife Health Lab. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.